Hello everyone, uh, it's Magdalena, Wolf of Coins, nice to see you all again. Um, so if you're interested in Tara de Marseille, you might have heard, you might have stumbled upon those mysterious Tower de Marseille type 1 and type 2 classifications. Uh, what's it all about? Um, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> So uh, yeah, um, this is this, these are classifications that help us. Um, well, compared to other decks, we have now such a variety of decks uh, that it's it sounds like something really for nar narrow um, group of specialists to be interested in. But if you love Terre de Marseille, you will want to study it more and more and compare the decks that. For, uh, for an untrained eye will look exactly the same. So uh, <laughs> so I thought, because I had the same problem at, at uh, when I was starting, I was, what, what's it all about, this type 1, type 2? So uh, there, there are some other classifications, but I think this is the most popular one. And uh, most type 1 uh, Terra de Marseilles are uh, older and type 2 are later, uh, are younger, but it's not a rule. The, there is some um, period where, where they coexisted, I'd say. Uh, and I will be using mostly what J.M. David uh, writes in his book, but I have my little observations too. So yeah, um, to explain it uh, quickly, when you want to um, know which type of Terre de Marseille you have in your hands, you should pay close attention to these five cards. So, first up, it will be the Lover. The Lover card. And I have here um, two Type 1 Terre de Marseilles, which is the uh, Noblet and Dodal. Tower de Marseille, they are both uh, restorations by Flournoy. And I have some some others uh, from historical decks. I have Pierre, Pierre Madeni and some restorations. So first up, the lover card. You should look at the Cupid. The Cupid in both of these decks is blindfolded and he has legs pointing uh, to the right. <laughs> I had to flip it for myself. Uh, to the right, yeah. <laughs> and in those type 2 decks he will not be blindfolded and the legs will go to the left. Right, right. So with my other decks, this is my beloved Hodorowski Cam 1. It's, it's the same image, basically, as on the Madeni. And here I have Pablo Robledo, which I, uh, I believe uh, Hodorowski's, both Hodorowski Cam 1 and Pablo Robledo's decks are based on the Convert deck, which is type 2, Terre de Marseille, just like Pierre Madeni. And this is Pablo Robledo here. And also I have the edition Millennium uh, Tarot by Wilfried Audouin. And well, his, his lover card is different because he flipped it, so the legs actually go a different way, but still no blind blindfold here. So I have these two type one and these four uh, type two, because I think that type two Tarot de Marseilles are the most uh, restored decks from Tarot de Marseille. So once we're done with, with the Cupid, we can go to the next card, which is the Chariot. I'll just flip it all here. So uh, what you want to look at are those curtains here. They're, uh, some people call them scallops. <laughs> they just have this shape. This is Noblet, 
and Noble, and this is Dodal. It's basically the same shape, right? And then we, when we look on Pierre Madini, it's those fold uh, sideways uh, cartons. It's it's different, right? And when we go through, this is Hodorowski, he has some stars here. This is Pablo Robledo. And at the Shin Millennium, Wilfried Odon. So you can see, it's it, it can tell you which type of uh, Tarot de Marseille you're looking at. Next card would be the Moon card. This is very easy to spot because in Type 1 Tarot de Marseille, the Moon looks at you. It, it is en face, right? This is Noble and Dodal as well. Okay, and then uh, with type 2, it's the profile that we know so well from later decks. So this is Pierre Madeni. Um, this is Hodorowsky Cam 1. So it would be more of a Conver uh, imagery. The same goes for Pablo Robledo. And Edition Millennium. Okay, so it's really easy to spot. And lastly, uh, JM David uh, mentions the world card. So, I don't know why some people say it's, it's an andro androgynous person, because it clearly has breasts here. So, but we don't know <laughs> about anything else. Uh, so, for me, it's it's still a woman, but it's different from those uh, type two ones. This is this Dodal. So there are no breasts here. So we could argue it's it's a man, but he looks kind of feminine. But I don't know. It's it's a figure that has a cape, a cape and a kind of a wand of a scepter. This is type one, and then type two. This is Pierre. Madeni. Uh, there is this scarf and the legs are this um, like dance pose, like they are crossed. Here they are not crossed, see? Here they are held together but not crossed. And then we get the same image basically uh, with Hodorowsky come one. And then Robledo and Edition Millennium. So yeah, it's 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 the same. And these are all uh, the cards that uh, J M David mentions. And I have my little observation about the Devil card. And it's actually well, it's one of the most fun cards in the tarot deck. Let's be honest. And. Uh, I think that in most type, uh, it's it's true for the most decks, at least for the decks that I've seen uh, in person or online, uh, it's the Devil card uh, in type 1, Tarot de Marseille, has a face on its belly. There's, you see, there is a, there is a face, Noble, and this is Dodal, a face clearly. And then we take Pierre Madeni, who has the devil has no face on the belly whatsoever. And then I I checked uh, some other decks online. We get the Conver, no uh, face on the belly. We get the uh, Chausson, which is also type two, uh, Tower de Marseille. See, no belly whatsoever, but but it seems that uh, uh, card makers, uh, restorers of the decks, are in love with the uh, devil with the face on his belly. 
So uh, actually on all three restore, restored decks that I have here, you will see a face on the belly. This is Hodorowski Kamelan. This is... This one actually has a lot of eyes, but, but yeah. Uh, there's something there, right? It's almost a face, it's, it's an eye, all right? Uh, and it has additional eyes everywhere. <laughs> and also... Uh, we get it here in Edition Millennium. So, honestly, I don't blame them. Well, maybe there are some type two, maybe there are some mixed ups, but for for the like for the decks I I have seen, there is this distinct distinction for type one with the face and uh, type two without. But I personally love the idea of the face on the belly. It just awesome. So I'm very happy that in the decks that I own is there. Uh, so I hope this helps you in the future. Uh, just to realize um, which which version you have in front of you and these features they go together so it's not like you will get only um, the moon staring in front of uh, in your face on us and you will get everything differently uh, they seem to be together as I said that's why uh, we have this distinctions uh, distinction for these two types I hope it was uh, I hope it was helpful and um I hope to see you again soon. Bye.